I'm back. No makeup, no filter to say, don't play, don't play, don't play around with your relationship with God, guys. I just had the best conversation with my son, Joshi. He said he saw me on TikTok. He said, but, say, mommy, I didn't listen for long though. But I said, what did you learn? He said, mommy, I learned how God has always given us updates and instructions throughout the day as to what he would have us to do. And honestly, guys, that made the mama so happy for my 14-year-old to learn about this wisdom from God and how he's always given us these updates, 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 updates as to what it is he would have us to do. You see the love of God. Like my brother Kevin just called and he was apologizing for something. I said, hey, you know you could never do no wrong in this sister's book. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I called my mom to thank her for what she said to me one day. She said, Nick, the same way you love Kevin, that's how you have to love your husband. So now I got to say the same thing to the papa bear. Honey, you could do no wrong in my books. I love you, I love you, I love you. And that's the unconditional love God has been trying to teach me that he wants us to have for each other. Not just for Kevin, not just for my husband, for everybody. That we're going to love. God is love, guys. And i got to keep spreading this message of love and forgiveness and being these people on the highest road with God. Thank God, what will please you here? You guys get it? So I was having a deep conversation with my daughter, Julie, yesterday and a tough decision I had to make. And I was explaining to her that my life is just becoming this conversation with God. And when I presented the, the, what I wanted to do to God, he gave me his wisdom. He said, Nick, I know what's going on with you right now, and I think this is the best decision from you for you. And I just had peace about it, guys. So that's where I want us all day with God, guys, just knowing on a moment-by-moment -moment basis what it is he would have us to do and just having these constant, 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 constant conversation with him and paying attention and listening to his voice. Like I told a customer a car and... We were amazed because my daughter Julie and I are having this thing with the number 211. So I'm taking all these pictures of the 211 wherever I go. Julie's taking all of her stuff with the 211. And I'm having goosebumps right now because of this 211. And the customer shows up there. And I said, okay, you have any other income? And she shows me this bank statement with all these 211, 211, 211 coming out of me. Every week she has this 211 payment to her. And it was just God saying, Nick, this is a customer I'd like you to please help. And we got her approved for a car, guys. So she drove up in the car yesterday. Honestly, the update, another update from God, you know? And I don't want you guys to miss out on all this love from the Papa. So every morning you wake up and you make God number one in your life, guys. And you start learning his voice. So you can know in every decision, like that customer with the bank statement with 211, Nick, this is a customer I need you to help, please. You see his love for us, for each and every one of us, guys. So don't miss out. Go to her. We roll with God. Just Google, we roll with God and start learning God's voice, especially the messages from my, my Kiri, my brother. He has all this godly wisdom and principles for our lives that we need to make wise decisions, guys. Okay? Don't miss out. The best, best life is with Papa God. Peace. <laughs>